three Stuart steam plants, boiler works, part eight. The boiler fittings section of this series is thankfully nearing the end. There is, however, a problem with one of the 501 check valves. I found the body of a spare one in a box and used that instead. I'll show you the details about that nearer the end of the video. I'm currently working on the 504 boiler and reinserting the stainless steel insert into the valve. In every fitting on the three boilers, I'm using Loctite 542 thread sealant, and this is no exception. Here I'm screwing the insert tightly into the valve using a pair of pliers. And now it's time for a test fit. I need the steam taps to all point to the left of the boiler as you look at it from the end where all the fittings are. Because all three of these boilers will be on their own baseboards with their own engines, but they will all be at the back of the engine. As shown previously with the 501 boiler taps, I'm using shim washers to make sure that the tap ends up in the right position. This is the ideal, it's nearly there, it just needs tightening into position, which will crush the shim washer slightly, but at least it will be tight and it certainly won't leak. And now, still on the 504 boiler, I'm fitting the check valve. And as you can see, I've used two shim washers on this one. The shim washers are all different thicknesses, and it's just a combination of those that generally gets you out of the problem of not having the fittings in the right place. I removed the top cap of the check valve to make sure there's a ball in there. Well, I know there is because I put it in there. But mainly, I want to fit a washer for cosmetic purposes only, it doesn't need it because I'm using Loctite 542. The good thing about these Loctite products is they lubricate the thread as it goes into the fitting, which is always a good thing. In this clip I'm using my trusty Barco spanner that I wouldn't want to be without to tighten the top cap into the check valve. The last job is to fit a brass nut and a coned union to take a pipe from the outlet of the engine's water pump. Originally this 504 boiler was on a baseboard with the Stuart Score engine. And it looked massively over scale. What I'm going to do is use this for the Victoria. As a backdrop to the Victoria, it should look quite good. Still on the 504 boiler, I'm fitting the water gauge. And these are the same size as the ones on the 501 boiler. In this clip, I'm fitting a plug underneath. Sometimes I fit a tap underneath these Stuart water gauges, but they don't look very Stuart. Even though they look good, I never fit the drain cock type if I can help it, because they always leak. I cut the glass tubing for the water gauge in the same way as I did with the 501 in a previous episode. This is really easy to do. I score the glass using the edge of a square file, and then just snap it off to length and it works every time. I know I should wear gloves, but I've mentioned many times I do not wear gloves in the workshop. I'm about to fit a check valve to the other 501 boiler, but this is a problem. The original check valve has really badly corroded at the thread end that goes into the boiler. As you can see in this clip, there's not really much thread left. I could repair it by silver soldering the entire thread and then turning down the silver solder to the right diameter and using a tailstock die holder to recut the thread. But I'm not going to do that in this instance. Thinking about it though, it's a good opportunity to make a video to show how to do this should you need to do it. I transferred all the other parts of the check valve from the old one to this replacement body. So that is it. All three boiler shells are ready for testing. I'd better mention that when I perform a hydraulic test on these boilers, I'm going to remove the pressure gauges, and I will use blanking plugs in the bushes where the banjo union fits. By fitting the fittings first, I can test these also with the hydraulic pressure, which needs to be 120 pounds per square inch for 60 pounds per square inch working steam pressure. I will show the hydraulic testing of these three Stuart boilers in a future episode. But that's it for now, I really am getting fed up of fitting boiler fittings. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.
please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.